Welcome back Autobots, Decepticons, and everything in between to Tales of Production, the series where I take a look at the production of the various Transformers movies and tell you some interesting stories that went down. Today's is going to cover the Soundwave Vehicle Mode Conspiracy, but before we jump into that, a quick word from our sponsor, Likewise TV. With streaming taking the world by storm, it's hard to keep up with all the shows you love, and when trying to find something new to watch, it's almost impossible to choose since there are hundreds of streaming platforms pushing their own exclusive content that the other doesn't have. Well, what if I told you that there was an easy way to save the TV shows and movies you're interested in across all your streaming services into one watch list? That's where Likewise TV comes to the rescue. Likewise just launched Likewise TV, a personalized streaming hub that makes it simple to find what you want to watch. And it doesn't matter which streaming service it's on. With Likewise TV, there's no need to bounce back and forth between services trying to remember where that new trending movie is streaming. Thanks to Likewise TV, everything is now compiled into one place. After telling it the content you're interested in, with pinpoint accuracy, Likewise TV delivers personalized recommendations based on your individual tastes across all services and interests. You can even share your recommendations directly with friends and family, and follow other users to see what TV shows and movies other people are enjoying. One of my favorite features on Likewise TV is Spotlight. With Spotlight, I'm able to see what's new and what's leaving from every streaming service, allowing me to watch the newest content as soon as I'm notified about it. So, if any of this interests you, feel free to give Likewise TV a try using the link in the description below. Now, Transformers Dark of the Moon had many plot twists in it, such as Sentinel Prime having a secret alliance with Megatron, to human collaborators working with the Decepticons since the 1970s. Another plot twist in the film was Soundwave's vehicle mode. In the film, Sam's girlfriend, Carly, is given a work perk by her boss, Dylan Gold. This perk in question was a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. During a party that Dylan hosts, Dylan reveals his true colors to Sam and Carly. The couple try to flee in the SLS, only for it to transform into Soundwave when they tried to drive away. This was a big plot twist since up to this point, nobody knew that the SLS was Soundwave. And that's what Michael Bay and the production team wanted. However, keeping that detail under wraps during the production wasn't an easy task forcing Bay to create a misinformation campaign, one that he would ultimately lose. This is that story. It all started on July 3rd, 2010. ComingSoon.net releases some exclusive photos from the set of Transformers 3. One photo in particular stands out, that being of Rosie Huntington Whiteley exiting a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. Speculation grows whether or not this vehicle could be a Transformer, but with no further photos trickling in, the speculation stops until March 9th, 2011. The first hint that the SLS was more than meets the eye came with the first trailer for the Dark of the Moon video game, which showed Soundwave's robot mode with car kibble that heavily resembled those of the Mercedes. 21 days later, issue 2 of the Dark of the Moon prequel comic Rising Storm was released. A single panel gave it all away. Soundwave's robot mode was shown not only with car kibble, but with a Mercedes star on his chest. The gig was up. Bay had to respond. On April 10th, 2011, on his official form site, Bay responded to the fans who theorized Soundwave being the SLS. He posted, Mercedes would never let us make their car into a bad Decepticon. Car companies really frown on that. I can't say what the game company and comics do. That's their own thing. They don't have the same constraints movies do. It's Carly's car. After Bay said his piece, Fans were split on whether or not Bay was telling the truth, since sometime before Bay's response, the SLS on set was seen driven by a man wearing all black. Usually this means the vehicle is a transformer, since the stunt driver will get a race to make it look like the car is driving by itself. And to top it off, two months before on February 3rd, a Walmart listing leak showed a Human Alliance Soundwave priced at $29.96. This is significant since at this price point, all Human Alliance characters transformed into cars. So many fans were skeptical if Bay was truly telling the truth. On a side note, many fans at this time thought that Soundwave's vehicle mode would be the armored truck, but as we know, that vehicle ended up being another character called Loader, who never transformed into his robot mode. But to get back on track, on April 13th, 2011, which was three days after Bay's announcement, Rising Storm issue 3 was released. Soundwave appeared in this issue. However, he was no longer sporting his Dark of the Moon design, and instead was drawn in his Revenge of the Fallen one. 
With the comic issue resolved in addition to stirring up doubt within the fandom, Bay could breathe a sigh of relief. But it wouldn't last long since tragedy struck six days later. On April 19th, 2011, an event for promoting the Spider-Man Edge of Time and Transformers Dark of the Moon video games was held in London. As part of this, High Moon Studios released promotional stills from the Dark of the Moon video game, one of which depicted Soundwave's new robot mode. Luckily for Bay, a news embargo was enforced on the attending press. But unfortunately, this embargo was broken by South African video game site eGamer. These images spread like wildfire on several Transformers fan sites. However, shortly after the fire started, it was put out since eGamer was asked to take down the article and images, as were various Transformers fan sites that had reported on the article and mirrored images. Now, you would think that this would be the last leak. However, Hasbro themselves even goofed up and spoiled Wave's alternate mode almost two months in advance before the film was set to release. On May 2nd, 2011, Hasbro's Transformers.com was given a massive overhaul, including the addition of the new Vector Sigma database, which was created to promote the Dark of the Moon toy line. It basically gave a general bio and status on the various characters that were set to appear in the movie in addition to characters from previous films. The entry for Soundwave initially identified as alternate mode as a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, but was soon changed to satellite. The day after this overhaul on May 3rd, 2011, the embargo for the video game article and promotional stills was finally lifted, allowing sites to freely show the images of Soundwave's new robot mode. However, the day after this embargo would not just spoil Soundwave being the SLS AMG again, but the majority of the plot for Dark of the Moon, causing the ending for the film to be ultimately changed. And if you want to learn more about the original ending, click the iCard above, but to move back on track. On May 4th, 2011, 21 days before the official release of the trade paperback collection of IDW's Dark of the Moon movie adaptation, Amazon added preview pages to its pre-order listing for the trade paperback. Through a bizarre system error, if you click the cover or search inside this book button, you would get around the first seven and last seven pages of the trade. This obviously led to major story points being revealed. Unsurprisingly, immediately after these preview pages had been discovered, they were posted as breaking news on several major Transformers fan sites, often without a spoiler warning. One of these spoilers confirmed that Soundwave's vehicle mode was indeed the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. After this, all fans knew for a fact that Soundwave was definitely the Mercedes. Some loved the idea of this new interpretation while others hated it with a passion. As a last-ditch effort, however, Bay had one last trick up his sleeve in order to keep this reveal hidden. And that trick appeared in the film itself. During the scene where the Decepticons rendezvous in Africa, Soundwave has kibble from his Mercedes alternate mode. However, his chest only has a blank grill and is missing the Mercedes star. The star is only added to his chest after he reveals himself to be Carly's car and is present from this point on. This was a deliberate choice made to avoid spoiling the plot twist since two scenes later we see Carly drive up in Soundwave. So if Wave had the star on his chest in Africa, it would lead audiences to very easily connect the dots that Soundwave transformed into the SLS. And just like that, that was the Soundwave Vehicle Mode Conspiracy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have not already, check out the Tales of Production playlist for some more awesome stories. But before I go, I want to say thank you to all my Patreons and channel members for supporting the channel. It means a lot, and it helps keep my channel running. So a big fat thank you to you guys. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like rating because it does help the channel a lot. With that said, hit that outro. Thank you.